Thank you very much indeed. What a marvellous audience we've got. Thanks, and uh, welcome to you at home on this Sunday afternoon. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm, I'm just slimming off a bit, have you noticed? See? Phyllis said to me now, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching 40. She said, uh, <laughs> She said, just, you know, to go on a bit of a diet. I, I tried the F-plan diet, you know, but you can't eat a lot of furniture, can you? Um, <laughs> and then I tried the Jane Fonda diet, that's good. I, 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 I got a ladder in my leotard. And, and then I tried, I tell you, I must say, the audience here, and you at home, try, try the bullseye diet, that's brilliant. What you do, you have a few drinks, and then a plate full of pork scratchings and a few more drinks and, and have another nibble at some pork scratchings and then in seven days you look like Bully. It's very good, really. <laughs> anyway, drop the prize in, Bully, and we'll, uh, let's see if tonight's contestants feel like having a nibble at tonight's star prize. I do know what it is. I'm not prepared to discuss it at the moment until I've spoken to my solicitor. Let's meet our six contestants who are going to play with us on Bullseye. <laughs> How are you, John? All right. Nice to see you. You've travelled from Cambridgeshire to be with us tonight in March. You know, yeah. Well, no March. What do you do for a living? Cable layer. What sort of cables are you? Electric cables. Do you work for the electricity board? No, contract. Oh, I see. Yeah, on, on building sites? On the what? roads. So you're the guy who causes all the delays, are you, with the yellow marks? <laughs> is it? I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. That's right. You're a very good darts player and you've beaten what, probably one of the world's most famous. Eric, yeah. How many times have you beat him? Four or five. Well done. How are you, George? Nice to see you. You're from March as well. And what you, what's your job, sir? I'm a relief manager. A, a pub manager? Yeah. What, your hobbies? I uh, like watching American football. Can you understand it all? Oh, yeah. That's good. We had a guy on a few... Well, I'm not sure how many weeks ago. He, he was called a tight end. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a, a trick, but apparently it's a position, is it? It is indeed. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you. How are you, Terry? Fine, fine. What do you do for a living, Terry? Well, I'm assistant stewardess at the moment. In a, in a in club? British Legion. Yeah, so you've got a little bit in common with George, really. You're both yeah. sort of <laughs> serving the public in... That's right. You're an ex-driving instructor. Yes. Go on. <laughs> Tell it, you must have a story for us about that. Oh, <clears throat> well, it's rather embarrassing. Is it? Go on. Yeah. It was during the time when Liverpool was chaining all the sort of one-way streets. Yeah, right, right. <clears throat> I know what you mean. Yeah, well, because I was in a, a driving school car, about four or five cars decided to follow me up the same street. Oh, no. So at the top, we all get booked. <laughs> so everybody followed you thinking you knew the way because you're the instruction. <laughs> and they booked all of you? All of us. Wrong way up or one way street? Wrong way. Okay. <laughs> what we do better than that tonight? You will. We know you will. How are you, Pat? Very well, thanks. What do you do for a living, Pat? I'm a, I manage a betting shop. Oh, I bet you have some stories to tell, haven't you? Mostly sad, Jim, yeah. yeah. I know. There's only one winner, isn't there, Pat? Really? Usually, you yeah. know that, that's right, yeah. You've got five brothers and five sisters. That's correct. Because that was before telly when you were a lad, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, the pair of you. Well, you relax now. You relax, Terry. Young Billy, how are you? Fine, thanks, Jim. Nice to see you. Where are you from, Billy? Fife. Fife? Florence. Good man. Uh, you work with Apricot Computers. Mm -hmm. what, do you do, what do you do there, Billy? Um, I'm a mealman. What's your hobby? Have you got a passion, Billy? I like watching St Johnston. So you're the one? People go. <laughs> I'm the one. You're the fella, yeah. are you? How are you, Pete? Fine. Nice to see you. Welcome, and thanks for coming all the way from Fife to see us down here in the Midlands. Right. Uh, you, you work together? Yes. You, you and Billy work together. What, what's your sort of...? Uh, quality inspector. Your hobbies are your walking, fishing. What's the shooting bit? What, what do you shoot? Oh, <laughs> nothing. You don't actually hit anything. <laughs> uh, you, you fire them, but you don't hit anything. That's fine. Don't panic tonight, it's easy. Give them a round of applause. Marvellous. <laughs> Very well. Very well. Excellent. Can we do it? Go on. Let's do it. Off you go. Have a nice one. Have a good one. Eh? Nice interviews there, Jim. Did you enjoy those? Yeah, I think you should have your own chat show, you know. You really? Yeah, lovely. He's, I've always said Green, he was a nice fella, you know. Always thought he was a nice man. Saying nice things like that. Here are our questions waiting to be answered, and over there, our contestants waiting to play bullseye. To remind you at home, correct answers worth £30 in the first round, then £50, £100. Let's play bullseye. George, choose for John. Uh, showbiz, please, Jim. All right, Milson. Come on, George. Showbiz, please. You do have plenty of time, boys. All right, John. That's in affairs, Jim. Went for the ball. It's in affairs, no problem. The subject's there, so you're quite right to have a crack at that, uh, John. George, for £30 on affairs, what is the surname of the United States General Storming Norman? Schwarzkopf. Good, yes. What a name he made for himself last year, didn't he? Well done. £30 you've got. 
Pat for Terry. Places, please, Jim. All right, no problem. Now, Terry, plenty of time for it out. Places. Right, Terry. Well, that's gone in spelling, Jim. OK, spelling we've got. Not a problem. Nothing disastrous about that at all, Terry. £30, Pat, if you can spell me this. 24 carat gold is pure gold. How do you spell carat in that context? C-A-R-A-T. Check it with Bully. C-A-R-A-T is correct, sir. Give you £30. We move on. Billy for Pete. Faces, please, Sam. We'll do that for you, Billy, no problem. Faces we'd like, Pete. One hundred. Well played. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> Plenty of time, Billy. Look at your monitor. There is a face. Who's that, Billy? Nicholas Linters. Gives you £30, sir, at the end of that round. First two couples, £30 each, but at the moment, Billy and Pete with £130. Well played. <laughs> we move on to round two. Questions now. £50 each. A little more difficult. Um, and the subjects that are lit, they're the ones you can choose from. Here we go, George, for John. Sport, please, Jim. Sport, we'd like John, please. Sport. Fifty. Fifty pounds you have. For another fifty pounds, George, on sport. In 1990, who became the first man to have won the Football World Cup as a player, as a captain, and the manager. Franz Beckenbauer. Good man. Quite right. Pat for Terry. Words, please, Jim. Words, please, Terry. Plenty of time, sweetheart. Words. Yes, that's 30, Jim. 30 pounds you have. Another 50 pounds for you, Pat, if you can tell me this. What is the high tower of a Muslim mosque called, Pat? A minaret. Excellent, sir. Well played. Billy for Pete. Britain. Great Britain we'd like, please, Pete. Britain, please. Oh, I'm lucky he went for the bullseye. It's out yeah, of it's out of the board. Which means at the end of round two in game one, we've got George and John with £130, Pat and Terry with £110, and Billy and Pete £130. Well played. <laughs> OK, we move on. Round three, £100 a question. More difficult the questions, and, of course, look at the categories on there, getting more isolated. So, for the last time on the category board, George, choose for John. History, please, Jim. History we'd like. Right, John. 50. £50 pounds you have. For a further £100, George, in 1801, the British ambassador to the Ottoman Empire removed half the sculptures from the Parthenon and later sold them to the British government. Who was he? Lord Elgin. I have to say that is a really excellent answer and correct as well. £100 you've got. We move on. <laughs> Pat for Terry. Places, please, Jim. Yes, all right. Now then, Terry, plenty of time, sweetheart. Well, that's unfortunate. It's in faces, isn't it? It's in it's faces. Funny, the category's gone. We can't ask the question. We move on. Now, Billy for Pete. Places. We'll do places for you, Billy. Not a problem. Places, please, we'd like. Well, he went for the ball, and is it showbiz and the subject still there, Jim? It's Oof! Dear me, that was very fortunate. The subject's still there, so you can have £100, believe you can tell me this. Which was Timothy Dalton's first film as James Bond. Never see die, no. It wasn't. In fact, it was The Living Daylights. The Living Daylights, which gives us, at the end of game one, £280 in the lead, George and John, £110, Pat and Terry, and Billy and Pete lying second with £130. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> we move on. Again. Traditional match play dartboard, the three dart players compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partner a question. The value of that question is the winning score. Pounds for points, over to Tony. Right you are, John. That's round. That's 12. 1. And 20. So that gives you 33. Twenty. 
20. Five. And five, which is 30. 33, Peter. Trouble 20. 20. Another 20, 100. And takes the first round in. OK, Billy. Got a smile to your face, that Billy, didn't it? This is another hundred pounds for you, Billy, if you can tell me this. What is the national religion of Japan? Setsu. It's not. We can offer it for 33 pounds across to George. Shinto. Shinto gets you 33 pounds. Gives us a score at the end of game one. 313 pounds playing 130 pounds playing 110 pounds. Back to Tony. There you are, John. Trouble one. Twenty. And twenty, which is forty-three. Here, Terry, forty-three. It's four. One. And twenty, that's twenty-five. So the score of 43, Pete. Unlucky. 20. And 25 gives you 45 and takes the second round. OK, you're still in there with a shout, Billy. Listen carefully to this. For £45, in Christian legend, what name was given to the cup from which Christ drank at the Last Supper? Communion. I can offer it for £43 again to George. A chalice. It wasn't. I can offer it for £25 to Pat. Holy Grail. Gets you £25. Pat gives us a score at the end of round two. £313 in the lead. Gone into second place now, Pat and Terry with £135. And Billy and Pete with £130. Back to Tony. <laughs> OK, John. Final round. 20. 20. And 20, 60. OK, Terry. 60 the score. It's trouble 12. Trouble 5. And 20, which gives you 71. Pete, that is the score to me. 71. 20. 3. And treble 19, which gives you 80 and takes the final round in. This can give you a total of £210, Billy, if you can tell me this. If you're in the country and you brush against stinging nettles, what traditional antidote to the stings will you probably find growing nearby? Mm, don't know. No idea. We can offer it for £71. We can offer that to Pat. A dock leaf. A dock leaf, sir, gives you £71. Gives us at the end of game two with £130 for Billy and Pete, £206 for Pat and Terry, and through to Bullock's prize board, George and John with £313. So we've got to say cheerio to Pat and Terry and Billy and Pete. In you come. Come on, Billy. Well done, well done. You're all right. You came second. You're all... Oh, She's had a long day, haven't you? You've had a long day. You really have. You've been great. £130 for Billy and Pete. Thanks for coming down to see us from five. £206 for Pat and Terry. I should count this out now. You've got your goblet and your tankards and your darts and your bullies, of course. In the second half, let's see how our finalists do on Bullies, bullies Prize Board. See you in two minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of this edition of Bullseye. It's charity uh, dart throw time now. Um, you're home and dry. Did you think you'd get here? Not really. It's funny, nobody ever thinks, believes they're going to get through to this last two. Anyway, you're there, you can relax. We've got a gentleman throwing for charity tonight. Um, 301 we'd like him to get, and we'll double that, pounds for points, and give it to our charity chosen by our two lads here from, uh, from March. A uh, gentleman, truly international flavour tonight, from Holland. Please welcome, as he throws for charity, Raymond Barnevelt. <laughs> Thank you. 
Best to look, Raymond. First of the nine. Trouble 20. 20. And trouble 20, 140. <laughs> Whoa! Nice start round. 20. 20. And 20, that's 60. Still 200. Still can do it, Raymond. Trouble 20. Five. And 20, 85. Oh. Good try, Raymond. Yeah. 285. Well done, man. Brilliant. Yeah. How are you? Welcome to uh, Great Britain. Thank you for taking the trouble to come and see us. Okay. First time over. How's uh, it's? You're the second Dutchman we've had on the program now. Yes, is it? The first one. That's right. The game's enormous over there, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, getting popular every ne every year. Do they play it like we do in Britain in the pubs, or is it played in in homes and? No, uh, in big uh, sports. Uh... Sports halls, etc. Yeah. And they don't perhaps drink like we do in Britain and play. Yes, do they? Yes, they do. <laughs> they do drink. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you with us, Raymond. Okay. Thank you for coming. Um, I know you're going to wish the boys all the best. It's been mad. I thought you were there. The first three darts, I thought you were there. It's still a good Thank score. You. 285. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Raymond Finder. <laughs> You have got there £285. We thought it was in, didn't we? I could see you, you were saying, go down, go down the bottom, weren't you? 285 Where's it going, George? Where, where were you like? Ward or local hospital. Yes, for whatever they choose to spend it on. £285 is on its way to March at the end of the programme. It will march after March. No problem. Let's see what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one. You'll be all washed up with this automatic dishwasher. In two. Even Steve Wright sounds good on this stylish radio cassette. In Three. Be a real pain in the grass with this electric lawnmower. In four. A pair of roller boots. Well, he's on wheels. In five. Speak clearly after the tone. Who, me? No, you fool. It's a combined phone and answering machine. In six. Don't be alarmed. Wake up gently to this superior clock radio. In seven. A hustle's no hassle with this magnificent snooker table. In a 21-piece tea service. A smashing prize. Let's hope not. And for this special prize... Lie back and think of England in this superb garden swing hammock. OK, nine prizes. All right, I'll tell you the story. We've got nine darts. All the prizes down in the red areas on this board. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. Your lights will go out when you've won the prize. You've got nine darts. Test and memory as well as skill. Try and remember where the prizes are you'd like. Here we go, John. First... I don't know. Right, John, just settle into it. Best of luck. Off we go. That's black. But that's red, it's number one. That's the dishwasher, you're on your way. And red again, number that's two. That's the radio cassette. Well played, John. Two on three. Good start for you. Don't rush it, George. Just take your time. Red number three. That's the electric lawnmower. Red number four. That's the child's roller boots. And red again, number seven. That's the pool table. That really is good darts. Well played. Now, you're going for your lights now. You've won. The lights are out. They're the ones you've won. Go for your lights. OK, John. Black. Well, that's red, it's number five. That's the telephone and answering machine. <coughs> red again, number six. That's fine, that's the superior clock radio. Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the dishwasher, the radio cassette, the electric lawnmower, the child's roller boots, the telephone and answering machine, the clock radio, and the pool table. Boys, you've done very well. <laughs> you can't do much better than seven out of nine. The £285 that Raymond Barnabell got for you, that's on its way to your March Hospital. That's not a problem. 
Would you like to gamble, and you've earned the right to choose this, you've given 11 million people some superb television tonight, this is some gamble, there'll be a lot of people sitting on the edge of the seats. You've earned the right to decide whether to gamble £313 and the seven prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. 101 or more with six darts. Three for George, and then three for you, John. All right, <clears throat> it's all or nothing. Money and prizes, and star prize if you win, or nothing. Just your tankards and your bullies and your darts and BFH, your bus fare home. That's all there is. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve. <clears throat> I know your wives are over there. You can turn and ask them if you want. Tell me what you'd like to do. Tell us what would you do. Tell us. <laughs> right. Now, I do have to say, and all the viewers at home will be there, this is some gamble, but you've earned the right to choose. Tell me. I'm doing a runner and taking the prize in the You're taking the, the darts, the tankards, your bullies, <clears throat> 313 pounds, all your prizes. God bless you. Thank you. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, George. Thank you. Take, your, take your bullies, because they're worth a few quid, you know. You've been brilliant. Safe journey home. Thank you very much indeed. Well done. <clears throat> right. Do you remember the delightful couple from Liverpool we had about uh, 17 minutes ago? We're going to ask them to come back now and see what they're going to do with their £206. Please welcome back from Liverpool, Pat and Terry. In here, Terry. <laughs> you honestly never thought you'd be in this position, did you? Impossible. Right, from a nightmare it could become an absolute dream. You've got... how much have you got? Uh, £206. £206. What are the 101 and more? What do you think? I think we go for it, Jim. Well, I, I think I've got to agree with you. It's only 103 with a piece, isn't it? So you've got to go. I'll keep this. If you win it, you get this back. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. non dart for player first. Pat, all the very best. Terry, come and stand with me. OK, Pat. Let's say best of luck. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. Treble 20. Shh, please. Twenty. And treble seven is a hundred and one. It's there. Figure <laughs> me. You've done it. Relax, relax, relax. We're delighted. They've come back from intensive care and they've won the car. We're absolutely delighted. Two hundred and six pounds. Have it back for petrol and whatever you want. You've got your bullies there, of course. We're absolutely thrilled to bits. Thanks to Raymond and Tony, of course. Thrilled to bits have them on the programme. We'll see you next week on Bullseye. You can't beat it, can you? Every week's different. Watch us next week. You can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. Tomorrow at nine on Challenge, Bradley Walsh demands our full attention lest the chaser catches us in the chase. Tomorrow at nine over on Pick, they're exploring the clink in prison. First and last 24 hours.